What's up guys, Scott from Sega Blocks here, and this is my Christmas slash haul from December through, well, right now, January, I guess, um, what, well, it's what, the 21st now, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah, we'll get right into it, I got some toys, music, actually, um, it's been a long time since I've showed music, uh, Legos, and some video game stuff, so, uh, let's get right into it. I'll show you the non-video game stuff first, and I'll save the video games for last, so we'll get right into it. Uh, <clears throat> my wife actually had ordered this for herself, and she realized that the songs that she liked actually weren't on this release. Um, but I actually happened to like it, and I didn't like him when he was doing his hip-hop stage. Uh, it just, like, the rap just wasn't good to me. I wasn't really a big fan. Um, but his new punk music, I think, is phenomenal. Uh, and that is uh, Machine Gun Kelly's new album, Tickets to My Downfall. And it's still sealed. I haven't popped it open. But um, she actually was uh, not realizing that some of the tracks that she liked was not on this edition. So, hey, I'll take it. You know, I'll add it to the uh, CD collection. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next thing here. Uh, anybody can go ahead and make fun of me. I don't care. Uh, I thought these were really cool. Um... For any of you that have daughters out there, obviously by now you guys all know what LOL dolls are. Uh, they have a line of these that I thought were really stellar and would look really awesome, uh, believe it or not, in the man cave. So, yes, I probably will get all of them because I think they're really neat. And that's the LOL doll surprise arcade heroes. They come, yes, it's really girly, I understand that. Uh, but it has, uh, it comes with the arcade cabinet. And then inside is a figure, and you, I don't have it popped open, it's still sealed. But you can see that um, each one of them, like this one specifically, has that suit. And it's like a super suit. It's really cool. They look like something like Power Rangers meets like Gundam Wing or some type stuff. I think they're really neat. Uh, so I thought that would be a really cool thing to display in the man cave, girly or not. Hey, my daughter's a big part of my life, so th there's going to be something for her for the man cave too. So I uh, thought that was really cool. Um, the next thing here... I'll get into is my mother-in-law knows my love for Star Wars. So for Christmas, she got me some Star Wars stuff. So the first two things here is Yoda and Darth Vader's mini lightsabers. And they both do light up. You flip the switch and it does light up there. Pretty neat. And the other one, uh, I think it's also a slider. Yeah, it's a slider. And then his lights up as well. Really, really neat. Uh, the next figure here is a Stormtrooper, I believe. Yeah, it's a trooper from uh, The Force Awakens. So that's really cool. I like the detail on these figures. I probably will bust these out eventually. When I have more room, I'm going to have an entire wall of uh, figures, which will be really cool. And the next one here uh, is Captain Phasma. It's hard to see because of the glare. But yeah, really, really neat. And the last of the like toy I guess is uh I got a little baby Yoda the child really cute right <laughs> I love the Mandalorian by the way huge fan the next pickups here are gonna be my Lego it's been a little bit since I picked up some Legos so the first thing I actually purchased myself because it, it was like I think my Walmart had uh, the poly bag section, some of the ones they were phasing out for like a buck, I think it was, or something like that. I can't exactly remember. Uh, but I found a Christmas tree, and I had to get it. So I'll be um, putting this together with my daughter, and we'll be uh, talking about it on the channel here sometime soon. So that'd be really cool. Who cares? Christmas, Halloween, every day, the way I see it. Celebrate it every day. Keep the spirit alive all year round. And the next one, uh, and last Lego pickup, is actually something I've wanted for a while, but I never wanted to put the money down for it because I thought it was always asking too much. 
Uh, but once again, this was a gift from my mother-in-law because she also knows me and my daughter's love for Legos together. And my daughter got one too. I got the male head. And it's the one that has the lid that opens up. My daughter got the girl and I got the dude. So that was really cool. So those are my toy pickups and uh, non-gaming stuff. Now we'll move on to the gaming stuff. And the first thing here, uh, I finally got a copy of it. When they first announced this, they said that it was going to be a possibly like a rare thing. You wouldn't find it in stores. They'll pull it from the shelves after a certain month or whatever. I believe it was supposed to be March this year. But not even a week ago, I was at my local Walmart. And I know a lot of people were having the same uh, scenario. Uh, my friends are anyway. And they had like 50 to 60 copies of this sucker. Uh, and that's Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And I wanted to get it for the Switch because my Switch... Just like any other Nintendo console, as anyone knows, that's my uh, exclusive console. Same with uh, PlayStation 2. Like, I only buy the exclusive for those. Uh, but I finally have this, and I'm waiting on uh, the new Mario. That whole Bowser's Fury is going to be phenomenal, so I can't wait for that, too. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm really happy to have that for the Switch collection. The next two technically go with the Lego pickups, I guess, but... Uh, the first one is for the Xbox One, and that's the Lego The Incredibles. I've been on a huge like Lego video game kick right now. I'm currently finishing up uh, Lego City Undercover. I already had played it back on the Wii U, and I know I've talked about that on my old channel. Uh, on the Wii U, it's phenomenal. It has special like um, Nintendo like things added to it. Like Mario is a special thing in there. If you play it, you'd understand. And then the gamepad for the Wii U actually you utilize it as like the handheld in the game on your like like your police scanning screen type deal and it's really cool how it worked back and forth i thought it was one of the best games that the wii u had sadly that's phased out now but uh but yeah so if you get a chance definitely play uh some version of uh lego city but anyway yeah that was uh the incredibles the next one is also another lego pickup uh and that's lego dc super villains been wanting this for a while too just waiting on a pr price drop for this because uh, I'm a bargain shopper, guys. Can't help it. Always will be. I don't feel like... I understand that developers and companies need to make money. But even the new gen, when they're talking about $70, $80 a video game. Whew, wow, is that steep. Uh, but I know that's how it was back in the day, too, for new releases. And I know that like the day one buyers have always been dealing with that. But not this guy. Like The way I see it, if I haven't played it, it's new to me. So it doesn't matter. I will buy the same game that you guys got six months ago for 20 bucks or less. <laughs> uh, and this was really awesome. It's sad what happened, but I'm just, like, I'm going to play it eventually, but I'm just waiting on to make sure a proper patch or something happens and, like, the bugs are fixed and sorted out. Because I know it's a good, great game, but I just want to, you know, have the best experience I possibly can. And uh, my wife, for Christmas, had got me um, Cyberpunk 2077. I just haven't opened it because I'm still waiting around to see what they're going to do with the game before I try. I know technically it's playable, it's just glitchy as heck, uh, but, you know, I'm just waiting to see what they do. If not, if nothing really, like, resolves from it, then I'll just play it as is anyway and get a laugh out of it, if anything. But it'll be really cool, so, yeah, those are my pickups. I hope everybody, I know this is late for, like, Christmas-type video. But I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. I hope everybody uh, got what they wanted from Santa. Hope you guys are staying safe, you know, because uh, the craziness that's going on in the world right now. And, uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. You guys know the drill. Like the video, comment down below what you thought, and become a subscriber if you haven't. A lot of more fun to come, and uh, thanks, guys.